of you, all my subscribers and my onlookers, um, for sending me such lovely comments and wonderful compliments on my videos. They make my day and thanks so much. Hi there everyone, it's Susan and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would springify the bedroom. I actually like making my bed in the morning, but at nighttime when I'm tired, I just dread taking it all apart. video is going to be all about how I decorate my living room and my powder room for spring and Easter. Hey, I wish you could see yourself just sitting there on my chair.
I thought I would take you through my kitchen and do a decorate with me and show you how I do it for spring and Easter. <music> A lot of extra decor on the table so I thought I would just add this little bit of extra and what it is for is for my salt and pepper shakers I have two sets of bunny salt and pepper shakers so I thought I would just sort of zhuzh it up they were in high school when they met and things got kind of awkward with sparks in the air he would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together ooh And one day she said Write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining or something cliche like ooh 
Baby, I only want you It's true And then he said I wrote you a love song And I tried to make it beautiful It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart And how nobody can steal me away Yeah, I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know So I never added another table setting to the ends of the table because I didn't want to ruin the effect of the pretty bunnies on the runner. to be doing my coffee bar
today we are going to make a feast of sweets. Uh, I'm not leaving them out because they'll be eaten and people will gain more weight. So I am going to put them in the freezer. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to show you my little garden here that I had made in my last video. They are blooming. The hyacinth. And I love these daffodils. They look like so animated, like something out of Alice in Wonderland. Aren't they beautiful? I don't understand nature. How does it know to do this? And a little white tulip is coming out. Cookie dough has been made. Strawberries are drying. Chocolate cupcakes have been baked. And here's that bunny mold that I had got, I think from HomeSense. And I hope this turned out. It looks pretty gross right now. But once you take them out and then you cut this top layer off, it should be okay. A different form. The one that I got from the dollar store seemed better. Plus this one has like ears and stuff so it's a bit harder to get out. I even greased it. <laughs> this one's broke. I can glue that one together. And these are my lacy bunny cookies. So what you do is you cut them out and then you... I always put a little bit of flour on the bottom of these so they don't stick. So I wasn't going to bore you with putting all the ingredients together. You've seen me make these several times. These are flower shaped cookies. And I iced them and then I put a little chocolate disc in the middle so it looks sort of like a daisy. Okay, so now I'm going to be putting a cupcake in these little clay pots that I got at the dollar store. So I'm going to place a chocolate cupcake in the pot. I know some people bake things in these things, but I don't know. I wasn't even going to even go there. I'm just going to pipe just a little dot of icing at the top so that the flour will stick. So I bought these inexpensive flowers at the, I think it was at the Dollar Tree. And I took them apart. I'm gonna push the little leaf through the flower and I'm just gonna stick it at the top. And then I'm going to sort of look at the flower, see where this little tiny chocolate bunny will be able to sit. This is also uh, Russell Stover from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to pipe just a touch of icing in the flour and place the bunny on top. What a nice presentation. It doesn't cost very much. So cute, looks like the little bunny's peeking out from under the blossom. Here we go. I am so mad. I had these carrots, these chocolate dipped carrots, <laughs> chocolate dipped strawberries, perfect. Then I decided to put a little bit of a piping across and the tip was too big and it was all slopping all over the place. So I'm mad because now it doesn't look like a carrot. It looked like a carrot before. Oh well, what can you do? And again, here's the little bunny cakes, the little lacy bunnies. I put a little marshmallow on his, the end here like a tail. 
and then the flower cupcakes. Okay, here's all the daisies, and here's the little bird's nests. This is sugar heaven, isn't it?
Ladies, you're new to my channel. My name is Susan, and today I'm going to be showing you my 2023 Easter and Spring house tour. So sit back and I hope you enjoy.
Appalachian sunrise paints my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow home. Golden, golden, golden things.
trout.